everybody, Trevor here, and welcome to my 100th top video. As you all know, I'm a huge fan of the classic Ertl diecast range of Thomas and Friends. In fact, I placed this toy range as my number one favorite Thomas toy brand of all time. However, like all good Thomas toys, this one has a few duds. So that's why I'm going to make a top 5 worst Ertl Thomas models video. Before we begin, I just want to say thank you so much for over 4.5 thousand subscribers. It really helps my channel a lot. Oh, and if you still like any of these bad Ertl models, then that's quite understandable. Because no matter how bad some of these are, I still can't help but feel nostalgic for them. But that doesn't automatically make them good. Now without wasting any more time, let's begin my 100th top video on what I think are the worst models ever manufactured by Ertl. Number 5 is Lady. As much as I like her as a character, and the details on her do look nice, but the reason she's number 5 is because of one big problem. Her model looks too big! Yeah, that's the problem with some of these Ertl models, is that some of them look bigger than others. But still, her model could have been a lot better if it was about the same size as Thomas's model, but that's just my opinion. Number 4, the Pump Truck aka the Pump Trolley. I'll admit, I did enjoy this model at first, but one of my biggest gripes with it is that when the pump truck moves, Old Bailey doesn't bend over as he pushes the truck, not to mention that he looks a bit too big for it. I honestly wouldn't mind it if the pump truck had a feature where you could make Old Bailey bend over and up again as the pump truck rolls along the tracks, but that's just a suggestion. Number 3 are the Old Coaches. I know I'm going to get some hate for this, but I think the Ertl models of these coaches are wasted potential. It's mainly because they are recycled models of Annie and Clarabelle. How lazy is that? But still, the old coaches are quite underrated in the show as they only appeared in Season 1. Number 2. Diesel 10 Ah yes, Diesel 10. A cool villain, but not a very good Ertl model. There are two big reasons why he's number two. One, his model is a retextured version of Diesel 199's. And two, his claw pinchy doesn't even freaking move. What if I wanted a model of Diesel 10 that has an articulated claw that could not only turn 360 degrees, but also snap open and shut? In conclusion, this Ertl model of Diesel 10 is wasted potential, and therefore, I don't recommend buying him, unless you want to customize him a little bit just to make his claw move. Now before I get to my number one pick, I just want to give a couple dishonorable mentions. The Chinese Dragon. I actually kind of like this model, though my only problem is the wheels, because in the show, the Chinese Dragon doesn't run on wheels, it runs on people legs. But still, it's an overall nice model. The Flying Scotsman. My only problem with his model is that he wasn't given an extra tender. But other than that, his model does look really nice since he is Gordon's only surviving brother. And my number one worst Ertl Thomas model is... Bluebell. Out of all the Ertl Thomas models in the range, this one is the most wasted potential. The biggest reason why she's number one is because, like Diesel 10 and the old coaches, She's just a reskin of Thomas's model, but without a face. Remember the first prototype model of this character, but with an additional driver in the cab? While I do understand why they dropped the driver just so it won't break, but this early model of Bluebell would have looked a lot better than her final model. And that begs the question, since Bluebell is the same class as Stepney, why couldn't they just remodel Stepney's Ertl model instead? Man, talk about wasting your time, money, and effort! In the end, despite my problems with these models, I still think Ertl is overall the best diecast range when it comes to the Thomas brand. And as stated earlier, I can't help but feel nostalgic for them because I used to play with these all the time when I was little. And there's no way I'm going to donate any of them to charity. So, do you agree with my list? Let me know down below which Ertl models you think are the worst. And once again, thank you so much for over 4.5 thousand subscribers. It really helps me a lot. And I'm so thankful that I'm back from my week-long vacation. This is Trevor Davis, signing off.